for another uh, cooking rodeo with the Taylor Cowgirls and we want to give you some Benihana action here because we are making sushi, sushi. and uh, of course with vegan sushi oil free and uh, let's see what we here get together first of all we need rice and um, uh, should you tell what, what our favorite sushi restaurant was before we switch vegan? We, uh, we like the. Uh, actually, they have boats. vegan stuff too, the Good. sushi boat. Yeah, sushi so there is a. For my German friends, they don't know that. There is a. In the restaurant, there's a little river going through. You sit on a bar counter in front of the river. You can take them out. Yeah, and there are little boats coming along with su diff all different kinds of sushi, sashimi. Uh, vegan stuff, dessert, salads, and you always take the tray off, and then. And if you eat it, they cost um, what tray you got? They cost you on the plate. Like exactly. So the trays are different colors, so they know what you ate, and then that's how you get have to pay for. Uh, it's kind of fun. In in Morgan Hill, they have a train instead of a, a, a boat. They have a train going around. That's kind of cool too. So we wanted to give you a little bit of that. So and no sushi chef ever. I have never seen a sushi chef without a headband to keep his hair back. So we do that too today. Okay, let's start with the rice. I'm gonna get you down here. Oh, maybe I should uh, explain. The first sushi we make, we make on a seaweed uh, sushi nori sheet. This is the typical sushi sheet. Uh, the the uh, shiny side goes on the back and we work on the rough side. Of course I don't have a sushi a mat. It, it's a little bamboo mat actually like made out of, of uh, bamboo skewers usually to roll it. I use my silicon mat to roll it to make it a little tighter. So the first thing we need is I made a uh, I had some jade green uh, rice, uh, uh, jade pearl rice left and I added a little bit of um, uh, jasmine rice and this is what we use for our sushi. It is done in the Instapot, so let's just get a little bit out of here. Okay, and the way the, they do it in the sushi place, you, have, you cannot use it really hot. So you fluff it and somebody is fanning it, fan closer, and somebody is fanning it cold, that's how they do it, okay? That's already pretty nice, so it should not steam anymore, so we fan it here, yeah, that works out well. Okay, should not come out of the fridge either, so you do it and uh, the way you put it in on the sushi sheet, you see my sheet, yeah, you leave about an inch here um, open, then you spread your, your um, rice, not too much, like just like a thin layer, you know. You can barely see the pearl rice anymore. There's some green rice in there, like jade green, and it cooked with the jasmine, with the other jasmine rice. There's special sushi rice out there. You can use brown rice, anything leftover rice you have. I wouldn't take it right out of the fridge. Um, I would let it cool down outside, and then you can uh, use it. So, that looks good. Here a little. A little bit here. Just want an even layer, so not uh, nothing on one side and a lot on the other. It's up to you how thick you want the layer of rice, so there is no rule in it. This is seaweed, the sushi nori. So if you 
we make some others if you absolutely don't like sushi uh, seaweed we, we show you another way to make sushi okay here a little bit huh okay so the first one we make is a, a mango so we take mango slices right here in the middle here is my tray of uh, cut sushi stuff and I have also I have a carrots julienne I have alfalfa sprouts I have um, hikama then this is um, avocado. We take the little core out. I, I leave the seed in because then it doesn't get brown while you are doing it. Peppers, different colors. We have cucumber sliced and this is our mango here. So, hold on. Let me just cut it. It's a little thick here. Let me just finish that one and then you can do the next one. How about that? Huh? Wanna do the next one? Okay, watch what I'm doing. Okay, so here's mango. I do not do cucumber with mango. I don't pair that. That doesn't taste well. I pair um, carrots with it. Okay. And then maybe um, maybe a red. And some avocado. I'm not putting avocado in all the sushi rolls because avocado has fat. I try to not eat the fat right now because I'm on a weight loss and um, diabetic diabetes in remission program. I try to really avoid every piece of fat even if it's a healthy avocado. Um, half an avocado a week is my li absolute limit with avocados I try to stay away from nuts so um, I'm really strict right now in that because I really want to lose more weight weight loss so far 62 pounds I had I fell into the vegan junk food uh, thing you know uh, and my weight loss uh, was stopping and uh, I'm off, I'm clean again. I try to stay away from the Lara bars and, and it's vegan cheeses a little bit and all that stuff because uh, that's what caused the stop. Okay, I use my silicon mat to roll. Uh, it's nicer to have a sushi mat. It also works with a, with a cellophane plastic wrap. Okay, so just try to keep it together and roll it over as tight as you can, shove it underneath and roll it and then at the end you put a little water here that makes it stick better all right our first sushi roll and then you cut it right and now you cut it at the end as always you keep the end because uh, see, you need a very sharp knife for cutting it. Is that good? Yeah, it looks good, huh? Let's put that away. Because, um, yeah, sharp knife is, is essential. I show you something. See my sushi roll? Um, if you put, this is a, a roasted whole bell pepper. Bell pepper. And if you put those on top, they really look like the tuna you get um, in, a, in a sushi place. They put tuna on top. And that, <laughs> no, it really looks like tuna. The first thing, the first time I saw it, I said, what? That's a vegan? That's supposed to be vegan. And they said, no, it's a, it's a roasted, here, I show you the glass, roasted bell pepper. It really, really, really gives the impression there is tuna on it. 
that's why I wanted to make this and it fits good with our stuff here. Let's put a little longer one. Delicious. Oh, I should uh, tell you, we actually have to put more in the other rice. Um, um, I put two tablespoons of rice vinegar in the rice. We should, I have it here, we, we do it for the next one. I think I forgot it with that one. <laughs> it's not so bad, but. Okay, here is my um, sushi roll number one. Sushi chef, put the tray here. I show you what I, Maybe, uh, okay, we can do that. I want to show you what I did. A, a, a little thing of um, tamari sauce here. And this is wasabi paste. I, I Wasabi paste? Here, this is like kind of horseradish with turmeric and some spices, but it's also vegan. I got wasabi and and you, you, you put, it's like powder, you put it in your little tray and then you... Um, put water. And then you, like here you see, it's, it's really it's really hot Eddie, okay? It's, it's becomes like a paste that's good with sushi. So wasabi. Okay. Wasabi. okay. Now I'm making I'm cutting the sushi. Number one, cutting sushi number one. Does it actually look like real sushi? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh wow. Oh, you want to see it? My sushi. My first sushi roll here with the. Looks delicious. It's actually a nice uh, thing to do if you have guests or an hors d'oeuvre. Or... You should have made this yesterday. Look here. You see it? Really nice. And it is sushi, you know, it's not something. Uh, actually, I think. Sushi was veg vegetarian and sashimi is the one with fish, but I'm not sure. I'm not a sushi uh, professional, so I don't want to say something that's not true. All right. You want to make one with seaweed or with the... You make the, the next one with seaweed? Yes. Okay. Eddie wants to make one too. You can put cucumbers in, like California rolls, they have cucumbers. I don't know how to make it. I don't eat seaweed much. Seaweed. Eat sushi. I get so confused. Here one. Juicy seaweed seaweed. Okay. You can see those. We put a little bit of sesame seed over it. For garnish. Okay, now we do the next one. Let's just clean up here. Do you have a clean spot? Uh, another thing to do sushi I like is sweet potatoes and tempura dough. Um, Check out High Carb Hannah. I saw her doing it, and uh, that's a really good recipe too. So you do the, the sweet potatoes tempura in it. It's really cool. All right, um, let's put that away, and you have more space. Let's, let's show them first. All right, our first sushi. We need. And now you get a seaweed. Seaweed and. We, this is the the shiny that goes underneath. All right, and then we put rice out. Do you think it, I don't need to fan it, or do I? Mm -hmm. Ah, they cool down pretty good. You can fan. Put a little rice vinegar in it, because I think I forgot it last time. All right, so this is uh, just. I think you get it, not just in the Asian store, I get it everywhere, the rice when you have vinegar these days. I had a sushi mat, but um, 
I took it to a party once and uh, it disappeared and I forgot about it. But it works with the with the silicone mat pretty good. Um, okay. You you want me to smear it on or you want uh, do it? Make the line there because I, I don't know. Okay, you want okay. the line like now put the rest on it. Mm -hmm. Leave a, a tiny little, not much, on the side that we can roll it nice. Yeah. It doesn't fall out. If not, if it falls out, it falls out. Not a big deal. But here, that inch on the top needs to be free because uh, we need to um, glue it on, <laughs> so to say, with water. So you want to continue? That's a pretty good line, I would say. Mm-hmm. Smells like vinegar. Mm-hmm. Let me just uh, toss it a little. Don't put too much. See, just smash it nice and distribute it. Don't put too much rice on it. Did you fluff it out? A little bit. Okay. That's a fun thing to do with kids too. They like cooking, you know, and that's something uh, it's easy to do. Did I tell you, Eddie got a, uh, from the district, she had to come to the school board and she got a um, special um, recognition for her future chef participation and for winning second place. We all had to go to the school board, it was really nice. Of course, they wrote her name wrong on the they recognition. Did. What did they write it? <laughs> Miralis instead of Mireles. Um. All right. They said it, Morellis. Mm -hmm. And they said eighty being said. Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit more, yeah, in that corner, I would a little bit more. They have this little spatula. It goes better with that. Let me see. Maybe I have one. It's pretty good with that. I don't know. You want to try it with that? It's better, huh? Yeah. All right. Tiny little bit here, maybe, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what do you want to put on? This is jicama, avocado, peppers, cucumber. Make. Cucumber? I had a feeling you do cucumber. So you do it like here. Yeah, okay. You go just all the way across. All right. Ta da. I got mm -hmm. to fold them like that. What else do you want to put? You need a different color. Yeah. Okay. You're just going to place it on that somehow. Mm hmm Do it right. It's okay. And now I need a different color, like two mm -hmm. reds, right? Yeah. And reds need a... Okay. Did we uh, ever tell uh, them about the rabbit? Or your little bee oh, friend? Oh! Yeah, you can, you can tell them about the rabbit. Uh, we found a rabbit near my school. Her name is Bun Bun right now. Yeah. And uh, so we kept. Don't, don't put it. too much on it because it, it's hard to roll. And I'll put this there. Or somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we found her near her school and she only eats yeah. vegetables and plants. So she has a vegan friend now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she eats my, my baby kale. Somebody's taking the baby kale out of the fridge. 
Okay, you want to do it? Roll it over. Really nice and tight. Tuck it. You know, remember when we did the strudel dough? Kind of the same. Uh -huh. Let's tuck it. Sticky. Yeah, tuck it in, tuck it in. Oh, let me tuck it in. Because yeah, it made it really full. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Okay, now roll it over. So you need a really sharp knife. Our knives are not good right now. This is the best one we have. <clears throat> it's pretty good, so. Show you Eddie's. Looks good. Like him. If you want, you can put some sesame then on it. When we have it on Why the place. This is a six spice Chinese uh, five spice spices. Spice, spice, spice. Uh, we could put it on. Um, I actually don't think we need spices. You can put five spices on it, um, but we have the soy sauce and the wasabi and the the raw um, vegetable just are fine like they are. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything on it. Okay, you want some uh, sesame seed on top? Sure. Shrimp on it? Uh, I don't tuna. think it's tuna. No, I put tuna on it. This is the sashimi. Okay. All kinds of stuff they put on it. Red. Okay, this is one. Can we show them again? So we have our second roll. Eddie made that. See, you, you, it's really not that hard. You, you, you can engage your kids in that and now I show you something else because we have people who really don't like the seaweed and what I did is I blanched collard greens in boiling water for 10 seconds 10 seconds and uh, if you I have the recipe I saw it on uh, Anne Esselstein's YouTube videos uh, Anne and her daughter they have cooking videos and they did it with collard greens and I thought I show you that because there are people who just don't like the seaweed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So put it in boiling water 10 seconds so that, it, that they are nice and soft. They look huge. Of course we take the stem out. Okay. So is it kind of like the same thing? It's basically the same same thing. Let's do this. Put the, the rice on here. If you have leftover mango, I call eating it. Pork on it. I can operate here. Okay. Leave a little on the 
top and we can you put it really over. You didn't really tell them which way to put it. And it doesn't matter. It's uh, as long as you have the leaf. So um, some people cut that out, that stem. Uh, I, I just blanched it 10 seconds and it's fine. Okay. So, and then we take for that one. I'm taking some alfalfa sprouts, which I like. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, then we do hickama. Hickamas. There's gonna be no more hickama left. And uh, maybe cucumbers. Cucumbers. Did you forget the name? Cucumbers. And maybe some carrots. It doesn't have everything, you know, you just choose a few uh, color combinations. You don't have to have everything on every sushi. Uh -huh. You want different ones. Okay. Maybe the, no, the, the avocado I leave for another seaweed. Okay. So this is how we do this it here. Good. You could, with, could, could do it with the mat, but that's actually, that works pretty good without mat. Okay, I have a, um. that's okay. So, cut it on the side. They always say the end is for the sushi chef. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, yeah. So we cut it again. See that? Olive green sushi. Put it in the middle. stuck out of it with a little hole you know if you wanna can, can do it like this okay it's not seaweed it's uh i mean sushi i get them confused all the uh, time at least that's the you can use I think uh, you can use Cabin. I don't know I would try this dinosaur kale maybe or rainbow kale I, I can see that when is too. kale rainbow okay. sesame seaweed you want to try that or mm. then it goes to me in my mouth till I'm hungry you can wait, wait for those you try them later uh, I don't know how to use chopsticks mm -hmm. okay shiny side on the bottom rough side on top bits of rice on it rice on it Right. Oh, we're almost done with all our rice. Uh -oh. mm, there's still more rice. 
And from the leftover of the sushi vegetable, you can always make an, a little salad on the side, you know? Don't, don't, there's nothing wasted. Then you can just eat it all. <laughs> yeah, finger food, that's right. Feel free to take one if you want to. I'm gonna make some mango and um, avocado now because that's really good and then I put some Chinese five spice on it. Five spice it's like ginger, fennel, other um, stuff. All that. All right, went a little bit far here. Down here instead. Okay. Let's do. I'm gonna do mango. Afterwards, you can eat the rest of the mango. I think that's our last one we do. Let's get one more mango here. Then I wanna have the avocado in. So I'm able to eat the mango now. Mhm. Mm eat the mango. No more mango. Maybe some hikama. Maybe some carrots. Make a little color splash here. If only we could do rainbow colors. Okay. So again, tuck it in. Tuck it nicely under the seaweed. Not too, um, don't press too much. After the second or third sushi roll, you know pretty much what to do. Oh. Except me, who forgot to put it wet. Make it wet. It, it's just a uh, loose better when you make it wet, you know, because you have to cut it and... Okay, so she rolled on. Um, where's my knifey, knifey? Somewhere behind you. I'm gonna make a nice cut here. Okay. Ready, eat seaweed. Yep. Okay, here again. It's almost a California roll. What's always my favorite? That's a, a cool a cool um, idea for a birthday party too. And it's vegetable. Who who doesn't eat vegetable? You know, or uh... everyone in school mostly. My knife works so good. Yeah, like I was worried about my knife. I don't care. 
okay? Um, just let me see. Why don't we make the ones that are like in Chinese? Okay, because I'm not a sushi chef. Okay. We're not going to have any more space to put anything else. No, I'm going to show the people. Take, you know, take, your, take your chopsticks. I take mine. Chowing down time. Can you open it? I don't want to break like the chopsticks. Thank you. How do you okay. use chopsticks? Like this, the middle finger in 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 the inside, and you you. This one stays the same, and you you control it with the upper stick. See. Ugly one, nobody wants. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna stay. Gonna stick it in soy sauce, you see it? Ooh. Mm. I'm still trying to learn how to do this. Very good. I'll show you. There you have it almost there. You know how to take a, a, a pen? I don't hold pens like you I'm do. I put one finger in it. See? One finger, middle finger, the other hand. Okay. Put one finger in it. Okay. Like this. See, put that finger in it. Just like this. Let it rest on the lower chopstick, and your your thumb and your pointer finger here. Mm -hmm. Take the upper one. Let the middle finger rest I, on the lower chopstick. It won't stay in place. See? That finger rests here. Thumb and the, and the pointer finger have the, this one. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> you take it. You can, you can take it with your fingers if you want to. Yeah, and it's going to be even harder to. Or you're sticking. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I'm doing it with my fingers. Do it with your bangers. This is not working. I try. I try. Can you try uh, with chopsticks. I already ate one with chopsticks. I want to try this one with a little wasabi. Which one's mine? Oh, you don't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So I take the one with the the colored leaves. I put it a little in wasabi. Wasabi is really hot horseradish. Spicy. And a little sesame. Mmm. Mmm, good. That's so sticky. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> good? I think so too. Mm hmm. Goodbye. Mmm, can't say anything. Sorry. I will see you again next Sunday. This was our sushi Sunday. I hope you liked it and I gave you some ideas. Bye!